Well, I think what we need to do is become more aware of that it's already happening. It's happening, it's happening um, exponentially. It's uh, miracles are already starting to become apparent. Um, and we're crossing over now. The purpose of us being here was to learn the difference between heaven and hell. And I, for the Sudanese, as, as I believe with all my heart, are going to be the leaders that are going to take everyone um, over first to heaven because you're already in a much higher frequency in an angelic sort of realm. You, uh, you told me that you asked the people in the church to pray for Sudan. How did that, how, what, what was, tell me more about that idea. How did uh, you think about it and how, and what happened? Well, I was in a church and they were praying for some country and I stood up in the back. Um, it was a Catholic church and uh, I'm not a Catholic, but um, I like to go to different churches and I asked them if they would all put priests please pray for Sudan. Mm. But as I mentioned earlier today, um, wherever I go, I ask whatever religion it is, to please tell me about Sudan. And um, one of the strongest memories I have was meeting with a High Lama, a Tibetan monk, and I asked him, what about Sudan? And he said that the Sudanese were carrying the souls of millions on their back and that um, why was there so much suffering? And uh, the Tibetan monk, who is a high lama with the Dalai Lama, said that it's because you're carrying m millions of souls on your back and that the pain that you feel is just sharpening you to your compassion. And uh, this uh, Dalai Lama is living here in Montreal? He lives a few blocks here from Lover's Point. You said you can make an appointment and see him, right? Absolutely. Yeah, because I would like to do that. Yeah. And he will remember um, me asking about Sudan. Um, uh, and I've, I've gotten this from the Native American Indians also, I've asked them. But I think what's happening now is that for, for everyone to get really organized in that, it'll be so simple because we just need to stay in awareness, be aware of light. Um, nothing anything that's being spoken of that creates fear just disengage don't become attached to it because miracles are happening all around you all the time and um we're gonna have to just follow the light and not if someone's light is not on you just you cannot wake them up you so you just have to say we'll come back and get you on the next bus but come together with all the people that whose lights are on and the stronger our lights will be together then people will start to turn and go wow something's going on here look 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 at this light moving and it's a bit like uh, charge of the light brigade because we're going over I mean the end times are are obviously going into place but it's the beginning of something new and wonderful it's just all the things that are not uh, of truth and light are going to fall. And those are aspects of humanity that we really don't want anyway. So we didn't come down here to learn darkness. We came down here to learn about the light. And I would say now it's graduation time. You know, maybe everyone won't graduate this time around, but there's enough of us will. And Last time you told me about the water and how it is essential and that the center for uh, uh, creation of water is in a trench somewhere near the Nile. Yes it is. Many people were asking me from where, what is the source of that idea? From where did you get that? Um, I got the, I, I was watching Nova and it was which is a scientific television channel and they were showing real footage from 
the Hubble Space Station. So the scientists were showing these infrared images of the Earth. Yeah. And in the infrared images of the Earth, you could see beneath the sand, there's a trench. And in that trench is where all the atoms and molecules they spoke about it in the program. Yeah, I think it was maybe ditryptamide or something. I have it written down for you, and I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll oh, get it for okay. you. I think I can get the name of the trench also. Oh, I'll appreciate that. Yeah, because I think uh, the whole oil thing has just been a diversion. Yeah, sure. You know, you know. Of course, they want money and they want power and and everything, but that's not really. None of this is all about money and power. This and is this, about life. This center of yours that I just attended with you, uh, the, your teacher this is a, a professor of uh, um, quantum physics. Right? Yes, he's a well, he's a professor. Um, he's a quantum physicist. Uh -huh. uh, he was the top quantum physics instructor at Naval Intelligence. Mm. Then he decided he wanted to go study uh, religions, world religions, mm. and bring science and religion together. Um, he found himself a guru, so he, uh, we have a lot of East and West and, um, and a lot of science. We, we, he talks about quantum physics a lot. So, um, But we have declared that we are not a church because um, we want all religions to come in. We have enlightened rabbis, enlightened Tibetan monks. I'm hoping that the Sudanese will come in here. And um, it's not about one religion. So we really declared it that it's a center for spiritual awakening. Yeah. You, 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 you were intending to give uh, him, as uh, your mentor, you would like to give him a copy of uh, the book. Uh, the second message of Islam. Absolutely. Why? What is the motive for that? Well, the motive for that is we have um, video monitors up now where they'll have quotes from Buddha and Jesus and uh, Ernest Holmes, you know, many great masters and um, enlightened beings, and they'll put quotes up. There and so I'm hoping that we can have one up there for Muhammad. Okay. Uh, I, I, right. Some people are asking and inquiring. Do you have anything to add or tell them? Tell the people you you are now very well known in my in the audience of our channel. Well, I'm blessed. <laughs> I, I'm blessed because okay. because um, I'm I'm blessed because of Naga. You know, mm. um, she saw it in me when we the day we first met, and um, it's it's been my calling. I've done a lot of other work where I was working with Afghanistan and then you know Sudan and wanting people to fall in love with the Muslim culture. And now it's pretty much, I've set everything aside because Sudan is, uh, is my calling, it's where my heart opens and I believe that you will lead us into the future, you will lead humanity into the future and um, you've got the greatest compassion, you're the least, as I said before, corrupted. There's a purity in, in, uh, in the way that you live and the way that you think. And um, of course we all are knowing now that what we say and what we think is what we get because the world is a mirror and um, to our mind. And every day we create either miracles or tragedies. So we need to focus on the good yeah. And as, as Dr. Bill said today, the past is not even relevant mm. at all. I like that. It's not. And it's, the future also. And the future also. It's right now in this present moment. Yeah. In the present moment of who we are, 
is not by our design, but you know, God's will. We're, it's it's designed like if we were going to be an oak tree, or we were going to be a flower, or a rock, or the ocean, or we're our our mission. Each one of us has a mission, and I think since there's only one, and there's one God, and there's one soul, and there's it's coming through all of us. It's beating all of our hearts. It's beating all. It's creating all of our thoughts. That it's not really even something that we have to worry about or think about because we're going to bloom into whatever it is that we were put down here to do. And as long as we stay out of our own way, as long as we don't think that we are doing it, um, I believe that we will be led into our future and okay. I think it's going to be beautiful okay thank you so much Marty for the time and for the minutes uh, and obviously we'll do more we'll do more and I I want to um, I want to sit down I think I, I, I'd like to sit down with my spiritual teacher and you to discuss he knows I've been doing this work for maybe 10 years mm. um, on the best ways for us to um, proceed but I think we're doing well if we can have people just even seeing on YouTube um, and any any, any 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 message you would like to direct to the disciples of Ustaz Mahmoud Muhammad Baha? anything to Asma and well we're all blessed <laughs> because of him yes and um, if we just follow what he's saying he was definitely um, in total awareness of everything um, he was an enlightened just like Jesus he was an enlightened being and he the, 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 the truth is eternal and cannot be corrupted so his words will remain forever what he his teachings so okay thank you so much we'll end this here and we we'll continue كان نحن في وقت القرآن وقال برضو أن هذا ده يعني أحد الشرق والغرب أحد العالم العارفين نظرهم للسودان العالم في وضع قال الشرق